Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. And if you're like me, you've been seeing Bitcoin all over the internet. Now, everyone has theories on why it's growing, diminishing, what's happening, and what are the future predictions. I put together some mathematics here based off of past trends to maybe predict the future. Now, is this going to work? Who knows? I don't think anyone really knows what's going to happen with Bitcoin. But fun experiment while it lasts here. So one thing you've noticed, hopefully, when you've seen the Bitcoin graph over time, okay, we have its well price here, okay, and we have time. So time here, and we have a price, okay. And if you've noticed, it kind of grew for a while and then laid kind of flat, and then it had a peak, right? So it went up really fast, then it came back down. And then it kind of was higher than before and stayed there rough back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And now it's having another peak, okay? And it actually kind of went down a little bit right there. And I wanna know what happens afterwards. Is this pattern gonna continue? So I looked at the data and I found some things that were interesting. This first peak here happened on uh, the highest peak, and I picked, got this data here from the 24-hour high point on a day. Because remember, this is traded 24-7, okay? So all days it's trading here, but I picked the high point for my data values here. And this happened here, the high point on 12-17-2017, okay? And currently we hit a high point, okay? A second peak that happened here, and that happened on, oh, on uh, January 8th, 2021, a couple days ago, okay? Now, these peaks had certain values that went with them. The peak, uh, what is it, the peak value here, price point was at $19,000 and 521, uh, five, $19,521 and 78 cents. Well, the most recent peak, again, not necessarily to scale here, most recent peak here happened, and it was a $41, uh, $41,000, right there. Make sure I have my points down, okay? So I noticed here, I was like, well, we had a flat area, we had a peak, we had a flat area peak, and at first I kind of tried to make an exponential graph with this, and it was kind of difficult with a whole bunch of data right at the end here, just that's where the peak happened. So what I, one, my first thing I noticed is, well, what was the distance to, how many days were between each peak here, okay? And I noticed that was 1,118 days, okay? So I wanted to extrapolate some data and I found what's 1,118 days before the first peak right here. So 1,118 days. And I'm gonna see if that pattern continues, what would happen if we go out here to another 1,000 118 days. So I did a whole bunch of kind of elementary math on the back side, not showing really here, but I broke these days into 100 day increments to get some data values here, okay? So starting on this day here, 1,118 1, days before, the first peak, I'm gonna put that date on here, and that was 11, 25, 2014. Not as important though. So I started picking data values, the every 100 days, okay, 100 days from across, and what were the, the prices at those days, and I averaged them, okay? And so before our first peak, so before the first peak, the first 100 days, we averaged, okay? So again, I picked every 100 days, starting with this one, so not in the peak, this will be the peak day, the day after, every 100 days up to 1,000 days. I didn't wanna to get too close to the sharp, rise, okay, that would happen there, that uh, would kind of skew the data. So I said the average, uh, the average value, this is before peak one, just like that peak in high school. The average right here, for that time period before peak one, we had an average price of $993.32, okay? And it's peak value right here, so we have our peak one, Make sure I'm still in, we're good. Our peak one was 19,000, like I said, $19,521.78, okay? That was before peak one. Before peak two, same idea, 
Okay, what happened before peak two? Same idea, I broke this down to be every 100 day increments, what was the Y value, the price at those values from starting at day 100 all the way to day 1000, okay? So nine value points and I averaged them out. And that average came out to be a average price of $13,198.14. And a peak two, which we've already mentioned was $41,962.36. Okay, a lot of information out here so far. Okay, so I wanted to say, okay, well, if trends continue, what's gonna happen after there? And so I first actually tried to find the an average well multiplier, the average multiplier between each one and the peak multiplier to see what would happen here. Okay, and so what I did there, I said, okay, the average multiplier from this average, the f from peak one to average, uh, sorry, from, yeah, right before peak one average to right before peak two average, we had an average multiplier of a 13.287 times. Okay, so the average in the days before the first peak, right, peak one here, this is peak two. The average was from peak, uh, right after peak one, so before peak two, was 13 times roughly greater than the average before peak one. Okay, so that's the average multiplier. Well, then I took the peak multiplier, right, the peak multiplier, and I did the same thing, this peak times what amount gave us this peak, peak two. And that gave a multiplier of 2.1495 times. So at first I was like, okay, let's go apply this for peak three. All right, so we have our first average times 13.287 uh, gave us the average of the second one. Let's apply that for the third time. So before peak three, so before peak three, we would have an average then. If I multiply that out, if I took that that 13.287 multiplied by 13,000, gets a very large number. Okay, what did it come out to be? 175, 363, 75 roughly. Okay, which really doesn't make sense. So that makes that average higher than peak two would have been, doesn't really follow the plan there. But I think this could give us a good peak three value. So if I do that multiplier, okay, I took my peak two, 41,962, and multiply it by 2.1495. I'd get 90,000, 90,198 and 10 cents, okay? But this doesn't really line up well. I really don't like this average to see what, what's the low point where it's gonna kinda go to match up there. So I wanted to change this, so I didn't like this, no. So then from there, I wanna say, what was the peak drop? So I took my peak value and what percent did it drop to hit the average. I think that would be a better indicator to after your first peak, people are looking at that peak, getting excited, and then it starts dropping. Uh, how far until eventually people say, okay, based off that peak, I wanna keep the money here at the Bitcoin value. So the peak drop off percent from this peak, peak one to uh, the before peak two average, so the drop off came to a 67 0.61%. So this average right here was 67.61% lower than peak one. And so if we apply that, if we apply that amount, multiply the 41,962.36, multiply that by our drop off of 67.61%, we get a new average before peak three, and that came out to be a $28,369.60, approximately. And so that kind of makes a little more sense to match up with this graph here. So let's go do that in good old green here. So what do we have? Well, this is by that estimation that this will drop down here, go up, and then leading up to this date here, peak, and it goes past by the math here, right there, boom. And what does that come out to be? This date here would be a one, January 31st, 2024. Our average value here would be that 
1369 and 60 cents it would average out and we would get a peak value dollar amount overall that it would peak again have a nice little bubble of ninety thousand dollars one hundred ninety eight dollars and ten cents so after all this mathematics here we would have a new peak of a theoretical bitcoin on january 31st 2024 of ninety thousand dollars one hundred ninety ninety thousand one hundred ninety eight dollars and ten cents but let's be honest who knows right no math is going to really predict bitcoin and it, it is quite the mystery and anyone who's telling you they know exactly how to buy and sell bitcoin and got it perfectly is probably lying because if they really knew that well they wouldn't be telling you they'd be multi-millionaires so i hope you enjoyed this video and maybe you'll buy some bitcoin maybe not who knows but either way i hope you enjoyed it so as always here thanks for watching